Hi, this is Ayla Pants, aka Ashmalala. Um, even though I'm not exactly a vlogger, I'm going to do Strawberry Sings Second Life Challenge, my second life blogging slash vlogging journey. I'm going to be a little quieter than usual because uh, my man Banyan is sleeping in the other room. I don't want to disturb him. Question one, how long have you been blogging or vlogging about Second Life? So I started uploading videos uh, in June-ish of 2017, this year, and um, I did it because I thought I was going to stop having my little alley, um, uh, and I wanted to remember it, so I started making little videos and then put them up on YouTube as like a place to store them, and uh, I shared them in several places that I thought maybe they would get appreciated and they did and then of course that feedback made me want to do more so uh, I continued and it looks like I accidentally also answered question number two why did you start blocking or blocking oh, there you go so on to question three how many times a week slash month do you post um, when I started it was about uh, almost every week um, but as uh, the videos have gotten more involved and trying to make stories and stuff to keep your attention um it more goes into it so more planning and more recording more editing so i've slowed down to about one post per month of an official video and uh, now we've got these nice little second life challenges that have filled in the gaps so almost once a week and then the official videos once a month question four do you keep track of how many hits or subscribers you have um yeah, I totally do. Uh, when I first started, before I even started doing videos, I had 10 followers. Those were all my immediate family. And I've slowly grown to like 20. And I cherish each and every one of those subscribers. But now it's not just enough to see how many hits I have. It's how long can I hold your attention with these videos? I'll make a 10 minute video and then notice that the average retention is about two minutes. And uh, I want to make something that's entertaining enough that people will want to watch it the whole way through and it's not quite there yet and uh, but I'm working on it. Question number five, which electronic devices do you use to blog slash vlog with? Um, just using my laptop and Asus, Asus, Asus laptop. It's pretty sweet. Um, I guess microphone wise I am borrowing my man Panion's headset. I think most importantly what has allowed me to make these videos is the OBS Studio um, video recorder. Uh, it was thanks to Strawberry Sing and her tutorials that allowed me to, to set it up. And then I got also a free editing. That program is called VSD Free Video Editor. Um, and uh, it uh, does a pretty amazing job for being free. Question six, do you monetize your blog or vlogs? I do not. Uh, I don't think my little videos get nearly enough views for YouTube to be interested in, in helping me monetize them. And um, in my most recent video, I in fact put an age restriction on it because I was concerned that the sexy, you know, outfit and dancing might uh, allow some people to flag it as inappropriate if they wanted to be trolls. And I was just trying to work around that you know, preemptively. Um, it's more important that I share that I am able to have this creative outlet and share what I'm making and people enjoy it than making money off of it. Question seven, what has Second Life blocking or vlogging taught you? Um, it's helped me uh, be more uh, prepared, I guess, having to plan ahead to do things. It, when you try to do stuff just slapdash and on the go, it makes your life a little more difficult. And the back end when you're trying to put it all together so the more you can plan ahead the easier it is every step of the way after that question eight do you feel like second life blocking or blocking takes away from your real life um no it, it it's more second life that's been a struggle to find a balance with my real life uh, question number nine do you have a mission statement for your blog or vlog if so what is it um, when I started, I didn't really have anything in mind other than wanting to preserve uh, my little cyberpunk area and then expanded into wanting to showcase other cyberpunk and sci-fi themed Second Life sims that others might not be aware of. Um, it's just the nature of Second Life to 
uh, be there one minute and not there the next. Um, and, and somewhere in that thinking, I guess you could say there's a mission statement. Question number 10, share your top three tips for new bloggers slash vloggers. Uh, I binge watch a lot of uh, the, the vloggers when I first come upon them. And um, the first two suggestions I have for anyone who's wanting to do this is one, don't apologize for having uh, a scratchy throat. Um, that seems to be persistent. If you uh, are trying to do something and you're under the weather, um, you can push through and your listeners will forgive you, or you can just wait until you're feeling better. Two, don't apologize for being away for a while. Uh, If you have listeners like me who go back and binge watch all your stuff, we didn't notice that you were gone for a while. Um, Maybe you can put it in the comments, but it's becomes a running gag where every other video you're apologizing for being away for so long and just getting back to it and promising that you're going to be more consistent. So I guess then number three would be try to be consistent. If you can't do it every week, um, do it every month. Do it on a, a time that you can keep up with. And if you find yourself struggling, slow it down. I mean, there's plenty of entertainment out there. Um, if you just give some kind of reasonable expectation for your listeners or your your watchers they'll come back to you they'll be notified when you post something um and i don't think it'll be that big of an issue so those were the 10 questions thanks for watching um i'm not quite sure how to end this segment i uh, but i do hope you have a good rest of your week and i'm looking forward to the next challenge